Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to go over string interpolation using the string R package in the tidyverse. So first we're going to load in the tidyverse and just make some different character data that we're going to interpolate. So interpolation means filling in a value based on some other variable or calculation or perhaps from a data set. So it allows you to essentially create different character strings based on some calculated or stored values instead of having to create them explicitly. So we'll give an example of how to do this in string R. You use the str.blue function and that allows you to do interpolation. And then to interpolate things, you surround them in curly braces. So in this case, we have this character string, my name is, but then we're interpolating a value. Within this character string, we're passing in the value of first which is a vector we defined earlier. And then we're saying period. And then we're passing in another interpolated value, first again, and then last. So essentially we're telling it to say, fill in the value here from this vector. So Luke will be filled in here. And then first is used again, so again it will fill in Luke here. And then finally it's gonna fill in the value from the last variable here, so Skywalker. And since we're passing in vectors, we're actually going to get back three results. It will do this in an element-wise fashion. So stir underscore glue is going to do this three times, one for each of these names. So we'll just run this and see what the result is. As you can see, we got back three different strings, and the values have been interpolated or filled in based on these vectors that we created. And it's important to note that within the curly braces that do the interpolation, you can actually execute code as well and do calculations. So we'll show an example of doing that below. Here we've set a minimum age variable. We've set some other over minimum variables, which tells how much older than 18 different characters might be. And here we're going to do a string interpolation using some of the variables we stored above, but we're also gonna do a calculation that is going to interpolate in a minimum age plus how much over the minimum that character is. And since each of these numbers is aligned with what might be a reasonable age for these characters, this executed string here is going to print out the character's first and last name, then the age that they might be, years old, all as one string, and it will do that three times because we're passing in a vector of length three. So let's run this and see what the result is. Now to show that you can also use the results of functions directly within the curly braces, we'll show how to do that. So we're going to store five numbers, and then we're going to make some strings saying the square root of the number is, and then we're going to pass in a function call. So within the curly braces, we're calculating the square root and also rounding it, and that will be converted into part of the character string. So let's just run this and see what the result is. And finally, we'll show an example of doing interpolation using a data frame. So to do that, we can use the stir glue data function. I'll walk you through what this code is doing. First, we're just storing a fuel efficiency value that we're going to use later in the string we're making. We're going to use the empty cars data set. First, we're piping it to this function to extract the row names into a column called model. Then we're gonna filter down to only those records that have a MPG value greater than the threshold that we set. So these are only gonna be fuel efficient cars that have better than 30 MPG. Finally, we're gonna pipe that resulting data frame to stir glue data. And then we can construct a string extracting values from this data frame. We're gonna construct a string from each of the records here, extracting the model, which we saved in this column, as well as the MPG, which is already in the empty cars data set. So this will create a different string telling us in a string sentence what the MPG was for each of these models that gets good gas mileage. So let's just run this and see what the results are. It looks like four cars got a MPG above 30, the Fiat 128, Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, and Lotus Europa. And we can see that of those, the Toyota Corolla was king with 33.9 MPG. That's the basics of doing string interpolation and formatting using the string R library. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to do string matching, which is essentially detecting whether certain substrings or patterns exist within strings. So I'll see you next time.